boys and girls, Miss Pam here. Um, happy Sunday to you. Uh, since we're not in church together right now, I'm going to bring you your Sunday school lesson today, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, I want to talk with you a little bit about um, some fruit. I know last week, Christina and Virginia Gray and Mavis used M&Ms in their Sunday school lesson, and they talked about how each of the different colors of the M&Ms represented how we're all different. Uh, we have different things that make us special, different skills and talents, and that's okay. It takes all of us together um, to uh, bring our different skills and our different talents together to make things work. We can um, use each other and uh, get lots of good things accomplished when we all bring our different talents together. They also talked about how the inside of the M&Ms, well, they were different colors on the outside, inside they were all filled with chocolate and Christina said that chocolate represented the Holy Spirit represented us us being filled with the Holy Spirit and that's what I want to talk about today I want to talk about the fruits of the Spirit so I've got some fruit here you see my beautiful bowl of fruit I've got uh, bananas and I've got an apple big juicy apple and a plum and a nectarine. Nectarines are sort of like um, peaches, but they don't have that fuzzy skin on them. I've got this kiwi. My favorite is this mango. I love a good ripe mango. It's so juicy, sweet. Fruit's really good. Fruit's good to you because it tastes good and it's sweet. And um, But that's not it. That's not all. Fruit is also good for you. Fruit has lots of vitamins in it. Like take, for example, this orange. This orange is stock full of vitamin C. And vitamin C um, helps us stay healthy, keeps us from getting colds and runny noses. So fruit is good for you. But the kind of fruit I wanna talk about today is um, the kind of fruit that they talk about in this Bible verse I wanna share with you. So the Bible verse I want to share with you today comes from the book of Galatians, and it's chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. It says, By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. Boys and girls, um, the fruit that the Bible verse was talking about today is a different kind of fruit. It's a fruit of the Spirit. It's talking about the way we act. When we put our faith in Jesus, when we ask Him to forgive us of our sins, and when we promise to follow Him, the Bible tells us that if we do those things, then the Holy Spirit will fill us with God's love. And that will produce this good fruit of the Spirit. So, what are the fruits of the Spirit again? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That is some good fruit. Um, but, Sometimes um, we might not always show those things. We might not always be kind or gentle. I know I'm not always patient, and that's okay. When we behave in ways that we wish we didn't or, or, or we don't exactly show the fruit of the Spirit in our behavior, we can ask God to forgive us, and we can ask Him to fill us with the Holy Spirit. And when He fills us with the Holy Spirit, that kind of fruit will be produced in our life. Um, I want to talk with you a little bit about, think, think about these fruits of the Spirit. And um, maybe this week, during the week, when you're with your family, you can um, maybe each night come up with examples of when you have witnessed or seen the fruit of the Spirit being um, acted out by someone. Um, you can think about uh, maybe if you're in the grocery line 
and um, someone drops something and another person picks it up. That's kindness. Or um, if you're waiting in the car with your parents and someone is sitting there and the light turns green and they don't go immediately and your parents just sit and wait for them to go, that's patience. Um, when you see an apple tree, you expect to see apples. When you see someone who's filled with the Holy Spirit, you expect to see the fruits of the Spirit. Um, another thing you could do, to maybe some ideas of ways that you could help remind you of the fruits of the Spirit, is uh, you could make like a, get magazines and cut out pictures of fruit and make a collage and then maybe around the border of it, uh, write the verse, the Bible verse from Galatians 5, 22 through 23 and talking about the fruits of the Spirit. You could, uh, I know some of you are awesome artists. I've, I've seen that in Sunday school. You could draw a different fruit and cut it out, maybe write the different fruits of the Spirit and then um, place them on a piece of construction, pool, pool, uh, construction paper or poster board in the order that the fruits are listed in the Bible verse. Um, you could draw a big tree and then draw the different fruits on it and label the different fruits with the fruits of the Spirit. There are lots of things that you could do to help you remember and to keep in mind about the fruits of the Spirit and how we want to act if we're filled with the Holy Spirit. So I can't wait to see you boys and girls. I miss you all. And um, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Heavenly Father, fill us with your Spirit so that we will show the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day, boys and girls. Bye.